something of a raspberry to the good people of Gottfried. <laughs> Watson's blast proves to be more in the nature of a last post. It will not waken these whales again. The hunt has come and gone. Only carcasses remain. Nineteen whales this time, all ready for cutting up and distributing to those who helped in the drive and the killing. At three o'clock next morning, up turned the Faroese boat again with a request. As sea shepherd, uh, this is the coast of Listen, Ola Raja, you are under arrest. You are under arrest. Would you please stop your engines? Gee, sorry. I uh, guess we must have made a mistake. The same mistake you guys made when you wrecked our Zodiac, Oliver. What do you want? We had, uh, we had the Russians do this to us with a cable. Didn't we? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Launched from the gunboat, Police attacked Sea Shepherd with tear gas canisters and tear gas bullets. It's the first time ever that an unarmed conservation vessel has been fired on. That was a tear gas shell. And that, it, hit, it impacted right against my yeah, head. Uh, no, he was aiming at me when he shot. That guy was aimed at me. I don't care what it's loaded with, the thing just missed me. Sea Shepherd's crew retaliated with distress flares and rope lines to try and foul the inflatable's propellers, that and dousing them with hose pipes. You are still under arrest. Will you please stop your engine? Well, that's getting to be like a broken record. I mean... Uh... I've got something in my eyes. Something's like... Yeah. boat was now a good two miles behind, slipping back, and it looked as if the police had had enough. Well, I think we've won, actually. I think we're in international waters, and for them to do anything stupid now, uh, I think they're thinking about twice about anything. But the Faroese were not through yet. The inflatables had merely fallen back on the gunboat to have a new tactical think. Yeah, they're being launched and refueled by a gunboat, which is two miles behind us. We're faster in the gunboat, so the witches are using inflatables. The, uh, each inflatable carries four police officers armed with uh, machine guns, tear gas uh, bombs. Over. It's policemen. Why are they after you? Having failed with the tear gas, the police tried to foul the propeller with a net. But everyone was still aware of the light machine guns slung over some police shoulders that could be used at any time. Our presence uh, in the Faroe Islands uh, did prevent whales from being killed for a three-week period, and this is the first time that uh, whales were not killed in the month of June for a couple of hundred years. So we did have an effect there, but most importantly, our effect was symbolic, and it has made people all around the world aware of this issue, and that will save thousands of whales.
I think the most effective tactic that can uh, be put into effect now is uh, an economic boycott of uh, Faroese fish products and uh, generally of Danish products. First, uh, to put pressure on the uh, Faroese economically by hitting them in the one place that they're uh, most sensitive, and that is the uh, the revenue that they uh, they collect through their uh, very lucrative fishing industry. Of course, it causes some worry, especially to those people who who have the task of selling Faroese exports, because if some of their present importers should back out, they'll have to go out and find some others. We've always felt that um, when it comes to the crunch of the boycott campaign is the way to go. Unfortunately, once you start a boycott, it's very difficult to, uh, to end it. And it's unfortunate we're forced to, uh, to, go, to resort to this tactic, but we have no other choice. When Paul Watson states that boycott can be successful, he always uses the example of the, uh, uh, the seal issue in, in Canada and in Greenland. That's correct, because there you boycotted the product from the hunt. But I think it would be very difficult to connect the pilot whale hunt with buying fish and chips in London or in, in, in America. During 1986, 1,677 pilot whales were killed in the Faroe Islands. God's gifts are still being accepted in the old traditional way. I see no reason to reconsider my present attitude. I think the pilot whale hunt is, is really a debasement of the human spirit. This is the most humane way you could kill the whales. They kill everything, pregnant females, uh, young. This is not a tragedy, it's a killing of some animals. This will not be the end of the whale kills. There must be a considerable pain. The killing has got to stop. Why should we? No, tradition. 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 They regard the, the green as a gift from God. Does the pilot whale, in fact, warrant all this attention? I think it does. I think cruelty to animals and cruelty to humans uh, is something that we must pay much more attention to if we are to remain spiritually uh, alive. Life is just more than uh, eating and surviving. Quality of life matters, and uh, prevention of cruelty is part of that quality of life. And I think it's up to us to spread that message throughout the world. This week,